Hi everyone, Caitlin here with IMG, and today we're going to talk about forms and the difference between forms and form handlers. So we'll start off by going over here to content, then on the left hand side you'll see forms and form handlers. And like mentioned before, these are different and we'll get into the differences as we discuss them. So we'll start with forms. Forms are designed and managed completely within Pardot. You have access to build-in features like progressive profiling, data tracking for form views and completions, dependent fields, and a few other fun stuff. So we have a few forms already, but we're gonna create a new one. And at the very top, you'll see the different steps that Pardot is gonna walk us through in order to create our form. So we're gonna name it. Come down here, we will have to choose a campaign. And then we'll move on to step two. And step two is where you're gonna map in your fields. So Pardot already gives you first name, last name, company and email. If you wanted to get rid of any of these, you could. If you wanted to edit any of them, you could do that as well. And you could also move them depending on where you want them situated within your form. If we wanted to add a new field, you would do that here. So we'll go back and re-add company in. It is a text type, so that's going to stay the same. And then I'm just going to change this data format to text. We can make this required or unrequired if we wanted to. We're going to save this. All right, and then we're going to move on to the next step. One thing to note, if we did have a type that was a drop down or had other values, you would be able to find that here in the values tab. Okay, moving on to step three. This is where you're going to create the look and feel of your form. So we have the layout template here. We'll go in and I'm just gonna select a sample template. Right below it, we'll type in what we want for the submit button text. So I'm just gonna type in submit. And down here is where we'll name our form. So this is our form training test. We'll come in here. We can create the different paragraph format, different size, font, color, we can get crazy with it. If you wanted this above the form, below the form, you have those different options. You could also edit it in the style tab. And then we'll come down here and move on to the next step. The next step is gonna be your completion actions. So any thank you content you wanna put, when someone creates your form, you can write them a nice little thank you message. If we come down here, you can also see that you can redirect them instead of putting the thank you content. So if you wanted to redirect them to a home page or a blog page, anything on your website, you would be able to do that here. And then if we keep going, you'll see more completion actions. So when someone fills out this form, we can add them to a list, we can assign them to a user and all that fun stuff. And then once we hit next, we'll see our form name, the folder it's associated with, the campaign it's associated with, the layout template that we selected for this form, the different fields within this form, as well as the submit button text and anything else that was included. And once we're ready, we're gonna confirm and save. And that's our form. We're ready to start using this and put this in our landing pages and all that fun stuff. The next thing we can talk about are form handlers. And form handlers, are a little different because they allow you to continue using forms you've already built. So if you had forms already on your website, you do not have to recreate the wheel. So from there, Pardot will extract the prospect's information by connecting Pardot to your external forms so that you can funnel prospect information into Pardot. So we have a few form handlers already. We're gonna create a new form handler though. So here, we are going to keep it with the same test. We'll select our campaign. And then we will come down. Here, we can have a success location or an error location. And that's just, again, a specific URL that you want them to be redirected to. And then we also have the completion actions and the different form fields. So this is where you're gonna add the fields to your form handler, which map to your Pardot fields. 
So if we had a first name, we're gonna wanna map that to the prospect field first name. It is required field, and then we're gonna see those changes. Okay, after we have all of our fields mapped in, we're gonna create our form handler, and this is gonna generate a snippet of code. So you'll see here an endpoint URL. This gets pasted into the external forms code. And then after that, the form handler acts as a bucket, and anyone that's filling out the forms on your external website are gonna be funneled into Pardot. Okay, and if we come down here, you can see the different completion actions, the four fields that are mapping in, as well as any prospects that hit this form. And that is forms.